Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and welcome to our 10-part series on building the collective Inflex 3. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking we're building the Borg or some evil collective entity, but you know, the collective does not have to be evil. It can actually have good goals. And so what we're going to do is talk about what we consider to be the idea of cyber awareness and I want to say something very quickly before we get started. If you are looking for what you might consider typical web programming, this is not it. So if you want to learn great flex programming, please go back and see some of my other tutorials. We will be doing some great flex programming here, but in a different way. I mean, we'll be creating a heartbeat, consciousness, dreaming. Uh, we'll be using a technique of programming, using the Cairngorm uh, modeling. It's just a whole different uh, approach and it's not something that's on the beaten path. This is kind of off what's typically done in web programming so if you're looking for typical this is not the place to look. Finally this is not built on classical artificial intelligence. Why? It doesn't work or at least it doesn't take us to the level that we want to go to. We're going to be using something called knowledge space for some of that and that's a totally different uh, concept. So uh, here we go. Uh, let me just say real quick you can download the, uh, the code we're going to show you in this first part from my uh, Google code. It's uh, code.google.com forward slash p forward slash flex3 cookbook1 download list. So let me go ahead and show you the collective as it exists for part one. So here it is right here. It looks like a very benign website, doesn't it? You got a nice little password here. Let's go ahead and pass, type in the password. It's password, by the way. Hit submit. And just a nice little uh, 3D paper vision slider here. There you go. You can slide through these different uh, uh, columns and click on them. And you also have a um, little menu here. So that looks very typical, very website-ish, uh, nothing Borgish here. But let's talk about now the elements that make this unique, something that's different than what you typically find on the website. And there's four elements. I'm going to go through those and discuss those in some detail. And then we're going to start building this site. So first of all, the number one thing is that uh, there's four elements to our collective. One, it's free of a MySQL database. Typically, databases trap information. You want to release it into RSS space using the DOM, and this is a real big deal. We're going to come back and discuss this in detail. The next part, it is cyber aware. There is a need for a definition of awareness. We're going to give you our definition and some of the analysis that we use to get to that. Three, it must be free of dominance, interconnected, and the code calls its interface. And we'll come back and discuss that in a moment. And four, it's going to have a heartbeat. And this really buys us a lot. So let's go back and discuss each one of these elements and then start coding. Number one, it uses the DOM for programming. We've developed this, this incredible, uh, or which we think is incredible, coding piece that allows you to, um, in a sense, throw information directly right into XML or RSS feed space, which will be available to the collective from anywhere. So in a sense, it can attach to itself. So we have, we're using the DOM programming, and we actually have an example of that. If you go to uh, www.youtube.com forward slash watch, and this number I don't want to pronounce, we show you an example of an animation engine that we built using the DOM, and, it, and we talk about that code just a little bit. Let me just take a, a few things real quick here of why this is so important. Typical in MySQL programming, you have the CRUD which is create, write, update, and delete. But with Flex, you have the ability to basically mimic a SQL database because Flex will sort on the client side. So the DOM will create, duplicate, insert, remove, replace, manipulate, find, transverse uh, notes. Uh, so that's great, and Flex can do the sorting. However, what's very important now is that you can't do typical database normalization in this situation. About two years ago, I wrote a, a nice little uh, Flex blog using very standard database normalization, and you waited 30 minutes for everything to sort. So there has to be a different way of doing this to speed things up. And to do that, you have to break database normalization. So as opposed to the typical table table, you have to use a table file configuration. And as we go through the programming, we'll explain exactly what that means. But, uh, next thing is the idea of cyber awareness. Awareness uh, is very much a metaphysical or religious idea. Uh, if you just watch typical sci-fi movies, and, and it's not bad, they had a lot of scientists work on those. So th from that perspective, it's always like, well, we did all this and there was this jump, jump to awareness that no one understands. Like, for example, take like Star Trek and Data. They worked and all of a sudden there was this jump that no one understands. How does his positive brain have awareness? Well, let's just talk about awareness just a little bit. 
if you examine biblical archaeology and its evidence, it is very clear that Hebrews had an encounter. There's no doubt. The Torah is not a book you could write or you would write. It is full of ungracious prophecy, prophecy that has been proven time after time, each time the archaeological shovel hits the ground. Another piece of information which confirms what was written in the Torah is, is, is brought about. One important encounter in the Bible, or in the Torah, is Moses at the burning bush. When he stands there and he says, Who are you? How do I tell my people, Who are you? And the living God says, I am. I am that I am. A statement of being, a statement of awareness. And that's one of the definitions that we bring here. The human awareness is a statement of being. Christ was almost stoned in the synagogue when he used the term I am to describe himself. Revelation speaks of Christ as was, is, and coming, a statement once again of being which transcends time. The Old Testament speaks of God as clothed in light, a statement of timeless existence. You see, if you understand a black hole which sucks in light or is clothed in light, you understand the relativistic time clock, the center of a black hole is zero. So we find this very ancient child that is forever young. So awareness is a statement of being which transcends time. And, you know, when we come to it all, what the heck can you do with a definition like that? Not a thing. So what we're going to do, we're going to throw it out. And we saw this error occur in the 70s. In the 70s, we believed that the human mind, the brain, was composed of nothing but nor gates. And once you got enough nor gates together, you would you would achieve consciousness and all these robots would be running around you know doing human things and that turned out to be a bunch of crap so it's nebulous ideas here the, of this awareness we can't use it so we're not going to use it we're just going to throw it out and we're going to create another definition one that we work with and do something with scientifically and the definition of awareness we're going to create is one called cyber aware and we say cyber awareness is the ability to reorganize the acquisition of data and also the code that would acquire that data to obtain a single or set of specific goals. In that, we're going to use a one-two punch of cyber awareness and knowledge space. Knowledge space is the all combination space of a set of participating basis elements. It's used for data storage and learning. Let me tell you something. If you take all the human cells and you begin doing it the way it's typically done in artificial intelligence and the way it's done in neural networking, you cannot create enough weights to contain the human knowledge the human expanse, the ability of the brain. There's got to be another way. And one way is knowledge space. We take all possible combinations, which is virtually every possible piece of knowledge just by, just by combining a set of basis functions, and you search that space. If that's the way the human brain works, it contains a vast, infinite amount of knowledge, or at least knowledge based on a certain resolution. The third part, the collective needs to be free of dominance. It must be interconnected. So in the old days, interfaces call data. But we want to do just the opposite. We want data to call the interfaces. And we're going to show you how to do that in Flex. So the DOM node itself will contain the information about the interface that it needs to express itself. Finally, and just a really cool, is the heartbeat, basically in terms of timers. That will buy us a state memory, dreaming, which we will be able to see, and animation sequences. Uh, we will use the Cairngorm as the structure to actually sense the send data around the place based upon the heartbeat. And paper vision, of course, will give us a 3D manifestation. Isn't that super cool? Got a lot of cool stuff coming along here. Finally, uh, the DIMP. Uh, that's the software design that we're using. D for data, D for design pattern, I for interactivity, M for media, and P for paper vision. And so let's get started. Now let's give you a definition of the collective and its goals.